Rebuilding a galactic empire is no mean feat, especially when the empire in question is beset on all sides by enemies and opportunists. But that's the task laid out for you in Age of Wonders Planetfall, the new colonisation sim from Triumph Studios and Paradox Interactive. No matter which of the six races you choose to play as, the overall objective is roughly the same. Reclaim your former glory, uncover the ancient treasures of the past and dominate, subjugate or ingratiate the other factions. We've been playing it a lot in the lead up to release and we've got some tips to help you get started. Number 1. Annex and Exploit One of the best ways to bring in resources to annex and exploit nearby sectors. Different sectors are better at producing different resources, but you need a steady flow of all of them to thrive. Simply move any unit onto a sector flag, choose Annex and then move on. It takes a turn to complete and you don't even need to hang around in the sector. From the settlement menu, you then choose which resource to mine and away you go. Protecting sectors is slightly tougher, especially during times of war, but it's totally worth the trouble. Also, don't forget to upgrade them as soon as possible to increase their productivity. Number 2. Colonise and Expand a small, self-contained colony might be easy to manage, but sooner or later you'll hit the limit for citizens and subsequently how many sectors you can annex. You can set up forward bases in other sectors which can be upgraded and guarded to defend your territory, or you can construct a coloniser and build a whole new colony. Each one can be upgraded along the same or different paths depending on which centre you choose, so one colony might have a biofarm base and produce more food, while another focuses on knowledge and research. Just remember that the more widespread you are, the more armies you'll need to protect your people, and everything has a cost. Number 3. Research and Develop the R&D trees in Planetfall are huge sprawling things and you almost certainly never achieve every upgrade even if your scenario runs to the full 150 turns. There are two paths, military and social, which you'll work along simultaneously. Initially it's wise to grab the first tier of each branch, but after that you want to really start to consider your choices. Military units, modifications, special operations and passive or active skills and buffs are all unlockable here, as well as improvements for food and resource production. While you can't really forget to assign new research as you're prompted every time one completes, you can fall into a trap of generalisation. Even in the more story-based campaign scenarios, there are often many paths to victory, and deciding what kind of commander you're going to be early on will help you make informed decisions. Number 4. Explore and Discover even on a small world, Planetfall will present you with a pretty big map. Depending on which type you choose, there are going to be lots of different terrain variations across a given area. While it's all changeable, most default maps will have dozens of pickups, points of interest, landmarks and strongholds to investigate. Create a few scout units early and go explore. Even the lowliest unit can create a forward base or annex a sector, and any unit can collect pickups and add them instantly to your stockpiles. Number 5. Divide and Conquer during almost every scenario in Age of Wonders Planetfall, you'll experience war. Not just random combat on the map, but all-out war to the death. No matter what you do, there'll always be at least one faction that simply doesn't like the way you wear your trousers. While you can't please everybody, it's worth creating at least one ally early on and keeping them on side. If they're in a non-aggression pact or a defensive pact with you, or better yet, if you can persuade them to become vassals, they'll side with you in conflicts. Dividing potential enemies is the best way to maintain an even playing field as a strong ally may well take care of an enemy for you. Keeping other players happy, however, is another story altogether. Enemy. Number 6. Unify and Trade a strong network of allies gives you lots of opportunities. Not only do sustained eras of peace prevent civil unrest in your colonies, they also allow for trade with other players or factions. You can barter for everything from information and knowledge to resources or even sectors. Be aware though, the AI is smart, and if you're a soft touch or a tyrant, you can lose an alliance as quickly as you forged it. Number 7. Think and Act Planetfall is turn-based, so you could spend an hour mulling over any decision if you wanted to. Sometimes it pays to take a deep breath and just examine your options. Say, for example, you have a strong alliance with one NPC faction you've built near their borders, but another one starts offering you quests with better rewards. You might be tempted to switch allegiances. It's easy to jump on the nearest offer of a brand new plasma sword, but the NPC factions tend to declare all-out war on the turn of a die. Make sure you're prepared for the consequences of every action before you take it. Number 8. Adapt and Survive 
The combat portion of Planetfall is almost a straight XCOM clone. You move your armies around a grid based arena, attacking, guarding, or using Overwatch, or hitting the enemy with special skills and abilities. Aside leveling up your individual hero units who can earn XP and unlock skill points, you can also apply modifiers dependent on your path along the research trees. These modifiers can add health regen or alter your attacks by adding status effects, or even imbue your units with various buffs like increased accuracy or greater movement. You can choose to apply mods to individual units or to every active unit of that type, and once you've made a modified unit once, you can choose to train them in the colony for a slightly increased price from then on. Special research projects also allow for advanced facilities to improve unit efficiency overall. Number 9. Shock and Awe in addition to simply going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an enemy, you can research special operations that allow you to use powerful attacks both on the battlefield and on the world map. For instance, if one of your sectors is invaded by an enemy that you simply can't beat, it might be worth priming an offensive operation and hitting them with it to weaken their power, which is a numerical value determined by the number, level and well-being of the units in a given army. A well-placed strike can not only weaken the enemy, but apply negative status effects in the ensuing ground battle. Number 10. Live Long and Prosper while the story campaigns often have very specific victory conditions, the free play scenarios will usually allow you to succeed by either scoring the most points within 150 turns or building a devastating doomsday weapon that will annihilate the enemy in one attack. To achieve these conditions, you'll need to be in it for the long haul. The longer you survive, the more you'll advance, and advancement comes at the cost of more and more resources. You'll need to plan carefully, live frugally, avoid unnecessary conflict, and possibly keep your enemies really, really close until the moment you ultimately betray them. So there you go, a few tips to help you keep the colonisation dream alive in Age of Wonders Planetfall. As always, if you found the video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Also, support our Patreon for early access to content, giveaways and other member benefits. Finally, don't forget to head over to godasageek.com to check out our full review of Age of Wonders Planetfall. I've been Mick Fraser for God as a Geek, and you guys have been lovely. Bye.